welcome back to Studio One Vintage Guitars, New Zealand's home of vintage guitars. Today we're looking at something very different in our stock. We have a higher end Eastman with us. So this model is called a E10 00 SSV. So uh, basically it is a 00 style um, Martin, but it has kind of some Gibson features. It's a very nice guitar and um, is basically a, uh, a cheaper uh, way to get into a guitar like this. Um, guitars like this from Martin can uh, be quite expensive and harder to come by so um, what they've done here is they've really created uh, all the things that make those guitars great and offered it at a, a lower price point. So um, what's interesting about the Eastman stuff is first of all Eastman is out of Beijing so it's a Chinese guitar and uh, it has a varnish um, back and sides, uh, varnish finish. So that's something that you see on more hiring guitars. Um, varnish is what they use back in the day. And uh, it essentially means that it's a light finish so the guitar has a very open sound straight out of the box. This is also um, the age style. So it's had the dragged around the car park treatment, uh, so to speak. So we have kind of like some discoloring here where your arm would be and we've got a little bit of that back here. We've got some kind of faux pick marks and, and uh, attack from the player. And on the back we kind of have some wear in the middle. Um, so the materials of this guitar are mahogany back and sides, Adirondack top. Um, we also, so we have the ebony bridge which uh, has solid bridge pins which is key to a good sounding guitar. We have ebony fretboard. Um, we have a three piece neck so uh, there's a way of keeping costs down is instead of having a one piece neck or kind of a one with wings on the side uh, this is three piece so you've got a it's it's joined here on the heel and it's joined here on the the headstock um, generally these style of guitars would be a slotted headstock but that is quite a lot of machine work and um, and Eastman pride themselves on having no machinery or, or very little machinery in, in their factory. So everything's done by hand. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a very, very nice guitar. Um, very, a lot of clarity in the mids and the highs. It has strong low end. Um, Try and drop D. The um, the tuners on the back you would say are Waverly style, but they're unbranded. Um, uh, the gearing on them is non bronze. Uh, I don't know what the material of the gearing is. Um, so it sounds very good for drop D. Get a better sense of the low end from that. Also say that it has a 14 fret neck so you would see kind of on the double O size you'd have more have a 12 fret so this is kind of a hybrid of the a very good body um, size for finger picking um, or just kind of a good projection uh, not too big of a box so you don't have a huge um, low end sound but very balanced sound um, see what it sounds like for a bit of blues So it sounds very good for open G. Has that kind of harsh sound that you like um, for for that kind of sound? Um, but yeah, this is this is an interesting instrument. Um, you know, I'm impressed at the at the sound that they've got from this instrument. You know, it has the good tone woods. 
and being handmade they've obviously put a little bit more uh, effort into it on that front um, uh, so it'll be very interesting to see how these kind of instruments play out over the next 10-15 years but based on uh, on what I'm seeing here I think you can say that it'll be a good guitar um, and depending on, on what your application is um, it'll suit your needs so if you want to come down and have a look at it uh, you're more than welcome to we have a new storefront as you can see if you watch our other videos we are now in a different place entirely um, so yeah we're gonna be open on Saturdays as well uh, so yeah, this is the Eastman e 10 ss slash V and the serial number on this one is 13850770, made in Beijing, China. So yeah, if you want to come and have a look at this, uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, so we've got Josh Thomas behind the camera, he's doing all the social media stuff for us and doing all the filming and, and we work together all the time. And we've got Garrick uh, Wynn, our owner and CEO, he's out at the moment looking at some new guitars, we're looking at bringing in some Sigmas to uh, kind of match um, our, our higher end uh, Martins. Um, so yeah, if you like this content, please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you next time. My name's Nick Brightwell, have a good one, cheers.